Hello everyone, today I am doing a, well, a sort of a video on um, the Isle of Armas and my five hopes really. So I've done the expansion pass so and now I'm going to do the Isle of Armour and the Crown of Tundra um, diff well, in other groups as well. I've got some footage on because I thought you might be more interested in watching that than my, of course, amazing face, but at the same time, you know, you might want to see something, though I do know the last bit, I think, I probably won't get to that point anyway, but I think it like cut off anyway, but you know, I will we'll deal with that at the point anyway, so I was just, I think, crying it out and doing some fun little things. Okay, well, that didn't go well. But um, anyway, the Isle of Armour. So these are just five hopes that I want for this bit specifically. So this part of the DLC, I am very excited about it. And I believe there is um, mythical Pokemon, um, like a new one that's going to be coming on the 27th as well, I've just heard about. And that will be good anyway, if, there, if that is my... Um, sources are correct. Uh, that sounds very posh, even though it's just looking online, popping up. Anyway, um, okay, so the, so let's start with the first thing I want, and that is have Alolan forms in the Isle of Armour. You might be thinking, what? Why Alolan forms? That is very random, but the reason, it actually makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. And that is because, well, Alola is on a bunch of islands, and so they've, like, they've, like, evolved in a more realistic world way um, to adapt to hot environments. And that also means that um, the Pokemon probably could adapt to other areas of um, the world that is a bit more hotter. So I would thought... Maybe this would be a good ch way to like put them in a, um, into Sword and Shield without you know, not making sense because it makes a lot of sense having them there. So I that's why I think that could be quite good. Um, though there obviously are the questionable things. Well, what will that make like a lowland Galarian Slowpoke? Will that make it a lowland Slowpoke? And I would still say no, because it wasn't this, because I would believe, like, the Pokemon and their names, like, the Cantonian Pokemon, when they call, like, Cantonian Meow, for example, the reason why it's called Cantonian Meow, even though it's, like, seen in other regions as well, it's called Cant Cantonian Meow because it was first discovered, that form of Meow, in Kanto. Or at least that's how I put it that way. So... That's why it's called Cantonian Meowth. So, you know, if it's those Pokemon weren't discovered and they maybe were just brought over here, then, you know, that would make sense. Another fact is because it's the, it's the, the theme is to do with growth and stuff, and, you know, them evolving naturally would also make sense. So, um, yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. So, having returning characters from both Sword and and shield and even of older games so this is number two by the way but yeah i i feel this one is quite i feel it's quite likely especially because it's probably more of a post game type thing you're not gonna i don't i could be wrong but i don't think you'll be able to access the this dlc until you beat the post game and that reason is is because i feel that both it would make sense basically, and it's meant because you're being trained by the person who was a former um, champion of the Galarian region and Leon's mentor. So it makes sense for the Isle of Armor. And I w would like to see characters return from Sword and Shield because some of the characters, especially like Marina and um, what was he called? Oh. Uh, I can't even think his name, but um, they've they had a good they had a good stories. Let's let's go with Marina for example. She, uh, I think that's how you say her name anyway. She, I quite like her as a character, and I like the concept of her. However, I feel that they really need to could have done more with the character, and I wish they did. So I feel with this expansion pass, 
this could be a good time for them to um, allow the character to do a bit more and stuff. And this bit, for whatever reason, took forever to load. I don't know why, but there you go. I knew it was going to load eventually, but I don't know why it took forever. So that was a bit weird. But anyway, it's... It, you know what I mean. It doesn't... I wish they did decide to, like, try to um, make... Mar put a bit her a bit more put a bit more of back her backstory and maybe just make her more of an interesting character because I think she is an interesting character but she was really underused and I think she has more of a potential to be doing more stuff. And there's and there's she isn't the only one and I feel you know, this could be a time to try out some of these and use these characters in new and awesome ways and this is a good way to do it with DLC you can expand their story so it will mean that you have can only access it at the end but I much prefer that than well you know just not getting any more story about them and I want because I want the both the Glarian story and the and this DLC to be like become one if you know what I mean be part of the same story but speaking of creating this story, I want also the Galarian region to feel attached to the rest of the Pokemon world. Because one thing I felt about Sword and Shield, I personally really like the games, but I know a lot of people have a bit mixed opinions about it. However, I do feel that it was, because it was the 20th anniversary, it was really celebrating the um, rest of the games and stuff with older characters returning. And I love seeing older characters in Pokemon games. Like... Professor Burnett, she, like, it's, she was a really cool character to be returning from a spin-off game, uh, Dream Radar, I think it was, and, wow, you know, you could have chosen any of the characters, but her of all characters is pretty cool to choice, and I'm glad they did it, so, I and it's a shame to me that Sword and Shield didn't have as many older characters. I say it didn't have many. It didn't have any older characters. Not even Looker return. And I doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. I lo and I really like Looker as a character. He's an awesome guy who looks like Doctor Who. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and everyone else on the, online. But I'm pretty sure he looks like Doctor Who. So why didn't he appear? I don't know. But come on. We need more of these, like, references to older characters, because they're awesome. And Meltan's looking so cute. Um, so, yeah, he even agrees with me. Um, but, yeah, why why not? They're, they ha You have so many characters, and you can explore with them. And even, like, some of the lesser-known characters or weaker characters in the Pokemon games. You have, like, like a lot, some of the... Um, Oh, rivals in Generation 6. There were quite a lot of them, and personally, none of them are that memorable. I remember their names, like Tiano, Trevor, uh, Serena, or the um, male version. I don't know what the male version is called, sorry. I, I should be ashamed for that. I, you can, don't, please don't lock me up. I, I'll, I'll have to hide underneath a desk or something. But, um, yes, that's not the point. The point is that, um, I also, there was, Oh, there was Shauna as well. That was the other character. And, yeah, they, they're they quite good. They're quite... Some of them are quite good-ish. But, you know, they, we don't know much about them. We don't, like, know any backstory why they behave that way. Like, Shauna, oh, yes, she clearly had a crush on you as a male character. And I guess also she probably had a crush on the female character as well. So, who knows if she is officially... Um, what she likes but anyway that's not the point and i'm just gonna have to clean that bit off there you go and it's connecting 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 i like to just say i am playing this i say playing this i was playing this a, a week like a few week a weekend ago so you know i'm saying all these things like i'm playing it in the real time but i'm not actually playing it in the real time so i don't know why i'm going like that but that's not the point the point is that yeah they have these amazing characters and I want them to be used again and in some ways improve their story a bit more and fresh it out and so yeah I think I've spoken enough about it so um 
add new Pokeball. So yeah, this is number three, add new Pokeball. This might sound very weird, but Pokeballs are very important to Pokemon. Without them, well, you wouldn't be able to catch them, I guess. And they are, uh, and they have introduced quite a lot of new ones. The last one was in Generation Seven. I don't think they they didn't release any new ones in Generation Six or Five. I don't think before so it had tons as well, and then. Before that was a lot more again, but especially Generation 2, that had a lot with the acorn balls, and that we know that they are going to be coming back in full force, and not just you can get one e for each game that you don't really want to use because, you know, you're only going to get one of them. So, I, because I don't really want to use them because I'm only going to get one of them, so i really glad that, um... Oh yeah, I mess up a bit on this because I like wait for ages and then, and then you know, after that I kind of have a slight issue. Maybe I'll um fast this bit up on the footage because it'd be a bit boring. Okay, I just speeded the footage along because I thought it was a bit boring and this bit, and so it was a bit easier doing it like that. So yeah, I've done that, and yeah, I like to just say I'm playing only with computer characters, so. Wookly do who doesn't like a bit of fun computer characters? Anyway, let's get on to carry on with the list. So, um, yeah, new Pokeballs. So, like I was saying, they're adding older Pokeballs back. So, why can't we have some new ones? Like, there's so many cool ideas you could do. Like, obviously, there is the um, because there's the Love Ball, for example, that can attract opposite genders. Though, I'm sure there's a probably an issue in um, it's like um, gay communities and stuff. And I could imagine that being a bit of a problem. Though, funny enough, the older games, it weren't like that. It, apparently all Pokemon, um, it, it did the wrong thing. It did it with the same gender, not the obs bit. But whatever what, it doesn't matter anyway. But why don't we have one that is, works the same way as the same gender, if you know what I mean? Like, it, that, there's no reason not to. And also there's like, because there's also the heavy ball, so why not the light ball? Or, um... Like, maybe a Pokeball that works better with high levels. And I know I'm just looking at all the... Thinking about all the Pokeballs that there are. And just thinking what the ops of it could be. Like, I could just go with the worst ball. That only has, like, one um, thing or something. is, Or maybe, like, a Pokeball that... Um, like, works really well if the Pokemon has only got one HP or something like that. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Or... I don't know, maybe a Pokeball that works really well on um, poke um, Pokemon that haven't evolved yet, or are fully evolved, or something random like that. There could be a lot of Pokeballs that they could do, and I don't know why they haven't decided to try out some of these new I like, ideas I just suggested. So, and I think that would be quite cool, and I like Pokeballs, and I think most people do, and yeah... This battle is not going well, is it? Um, but yeah, that is not a real... Like, there is no reason why they can't add a few more Pokeballs. So, you know, I think this is a good time for us to have a new way to catch them all. I am just making terrible... I don't know even if it was um, a joke. It wasn't really a joke at all, was it? I don't know. And okay, number four. Have the GS ball. Talking about Pokeballs and stuff i i want the gs ball to return and you might be thinking well hang on a mini oh minute the gs ball have has it been in it hasn't been in a pokemon game well first thing of all it has been it was in pokemon crystal so you know i wouldn't let i would let you off because you know it, i think it was quite a hard item especially in the originally though the virtual console was made it a bit easier, but that isn't the point. The point is that they did have it in that game. So, you can't argue with that. And B, why can't it return? Like, Ash has like, had these things that have appeared in the Pokemon games, like Ash Greninja. He's, he's appeared in the, the uh, demo. So, why can't the GS Ball appear again? And... Because I think it'd be great, because it is quite an interesting Pokeball with quite a good amount of history, because it was meant to have Celebi inside. Spoiler for the um, Pokemon anime TV show. Um, yes, 
it it had Celebi in it, and B, if you're wondering why it's a spoiler, well, it isn't because it never they never actually revealed it in the TV show at all. In fact, they just wanted people to forget about it because of the Celebi movie. So yeah, not a spoiler, but I'm just going to call it a spoiler because someone's going to moan about it. I know, um, but yeah, it isn't a spoiler, but it is a spoiler for those people who want it to be a spoiler. Okay, so yes, I will, and I think maybe this could be a way for you to maybe catch Celebi, or maybe even time travel. I do like when Pokemon do time traveling. Maybe I would love a Pokemon game actually if you could like go back in time to like the time before Pokeballs, and you can like catch these Pokemon with like I don't know, will they use nets or what? Because I know they had like old fashioned Pokeballs. Maybe the Acorn Balls would still be around. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure someone would tell me, but what it was like in the medieval time actually i know they had a lot of wars in medieval time according to the pokemon movies and but you know that isn't to say that it would just be cool put it that way there's no argument we need the gs ball to return i don't think it's going to happen but because there's a lot of things that um are returning there that was another thing that i would like it to return so let's go with it okay and the f fifth one was um, bring back Pokemon contests. You might be thinking, what? You really think they're going to do that? And I'm thinking, of course it. Well, they won't do that. But that doesn't mean I don't want it. Um, and I think, to be honest, secret bases would be more realistic in the environment. However, considering um, I think that secret bases would be uh, more in the crown of Tundra because of the fact one fact they have confirmed that you're going to be exploring dens and stuff so i feel that may be a bit like the sino underground so i feel it might be if it was going to be back it would be the crown of tundra than the isle of armor so let's go with pokemon contests instead because let's be honest they are awesome in my opinion i know not everyone likes them in fact i know there's a lot of people who think that they're just a boring waste of time but I've always really liked them. I think I would like them to do more of like how they showed May, like do them like and also Dawn and stuff because they like did it in like this kind of like collect these ribbons and after you collected all the ribbons, then you um you know get to have the um you get to look like collect all five of them and you do this ultimate contests. This, that would be, I think, awesome if you, like, had to go around, collect these five, go to these five contest halls, and then collect these ribbons, and then after the last, when you've done all of those five ones, you go to one more at the end, and then you complete them, like, the master one. That would be awesome. Do I think that's going to happen? Pfft, no. But, um, even, even so, I would like Pokemon contests to return. Maybe in Sinnoh remakes? Well, probably, but they'd probably be in the Sinnoh form, and I don't really like the Sinnoh contests as much as the Hoenn ones. I want them to be styled like Hoenn before you'd be questioning it. Hoenn ones are vastly superior. Though I do like the um, judge idea, but even so, I think, apart from the judging thing, where I think they've probably improved it, the other two ones are just, I think, are worse. So, um, yeah not good <laughs> i i just don't think i want dressing up in the music game in there but you know that's not my that's my opinion i'm sure some people love it and to be honest i like the um dressing up um in the generation five but i think the what i'm trying to say is more i like them separate than this in the same thing i don't feel they work too well together if you know what i mean but you know that's my opinion anyway and i'm sure some people are going to hate me for that so put your hate comments down below Ding, guaranteed. And I'm doing these like thumbs up and stuff. And you can't even see me, so I don't know why I'm doing all of that rubbish. So let's not worry about that. And that was the last one I had written down. So I'm going to be doing the Crown of Tundra soon. I'm hoping. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably put on th the rest of this battle, though. I think, like, because they do it like two battles and stuff. One of them actually cut out this footage because. I have no idea why I just decided to do that. But, okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye, everyone.